Okay, so it seems a bit balmy to be talking about 5G smartphones already when we haven't even got proper coverage here in the UK. Even by the end of 2019, EE reckons it'll only have rolled out 5G to small pockets of 16 cities here across the nation. But 5G phones is just what we got at MWC 2019. And here is a rundown of the first generation of 5G ready mobiles, plus a tease of what's coming later in the year. Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. The very first 5G smartphone to be officially launched by a manufacturer was Samsung's Galaxy S10 5G, unveiled at the big Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event at the same time as the standard S10. And you might be forgiven for thinking that the 5G model is basically just the S10 with 5G connectivity as well, but the specs are actually very different. For one, this is an absolute beast of a smartphone, packing a monster 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED panel. Those Quad HD Plus visuals are incredible, boasting next level contrast and knock your socks off colours. So movie fans will definitely be drooling like a rabid dog. The battery has been upgraded to a huge 4,500mAh cell as well to keep you streaming all day long. You also get a proper time of flight lens up front for secure 3D facial recognition as an alternative to the already pretty damn impressive ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. And besides all that, the Galaxy S10 5G boasts most of the same specs as the vanilla version, including a triple lens camera stuffed around back. But of course, you do have a 5G modem stuck away in that handset too, so you can take advantage of those ultra-fast networks when they spring up all across the country. Samsung has said that the phone will hit stores around early summer, so there is a bit of a wait if you are all about that 5G model. Go check out my full hands-on coverage of the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G for all you need to know. Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 5G now before MWC 2019, we definitely thought that all 5G smartphones would be pushing that thousand pound price bracket here in the UK, but Xiaomi has blown those expectations out of the water by launching its Mi Mix 3 5G. This handset comes with a seriously smart cost of just 599 euros, massively undercutting the competition. But is it actually any good? Well, this 5G model isn't actually much different from the original Mi Mix 3, although you do get Qualcomm's fresh new Snapdragon 855 chipset stuffed in there, which is absolutely stunning considering this asking price. It's still a 6.4 inch smartphone using Xiaomi's own Mi UI, which has its fair share of quirks, admittedly. Slapped on the back is a dual lens camera complete with telephoto capabilities, just the same as the original phone. And you also have a funky pop-up front-facing camera with depth sensor for those sexy selfies. The reason for this slidey design is to banish any notches or pinhole cameras from the screen. So the Mi Mix 3 5G boasts a glorious pure display just as God intended. Awesome stuff. The Mi Mix 3 5G is coming to the UK in May apparently, so you won't have to wait too long to get your paws on one. LG V50 ThinQ 5G LG's V40 has only just made it over here to the UK. Go check out my full hands-on coverage with that bad boy for all you need to know. But the next generation has already emerged at MWC 2019. And as you can probably tell from the name of this phone and the fact that I've included it in this video, the V50 boasts a full-on bit of 5G action. Just one of the many awesome features stuffed inside this super premium handset. The LG V50 is ideal for media lovers. You get a super punchy 6.4 inch P OLED screen supporting HDR10 and Dolby Vision content. And it is a treat for the ears as well as the eyes with LG's awesome hi-fi DAC and full DTSX surround sound action on board. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 855 platform is back in action with that X50 modem for the 5G smarts. Backed by 6 gigs of RAM, you get a nippy bit of performance here. No worries if you want to blast through some PUBG Mobile on the go. And as always, LG doesn't disappoint with the optics either. The triple lens hardware boasts ultra-wide and telephoto options just like Samsung's 5G phone, so you can switch up the view with just a tap. And you've got some slick manual controls and a bugger ton of other features to play around with as well. So far, we know as much about the V50's price and release date as Theresa May knows about how to run a country. Bugger all, basically. So stay tuned for more when LG bothers to dish up some details. Huawei Mate X. One of the big themes of MWC 2019, besides 5G of course, was those bendy tablet phone hybrid things. And Huawei had its own version to show off in the Mate X. This thing basically wins MWC 2019 because not only can it bend a bit, but also it's fully charged with 5G. Never mind the fact that you'll have to sell your firstborn to actually afford one, we have to admit that this 8 inch slab is pretty cool. Unfold the Mate X and you get a mighty 8 inch screen to play around with, although that square aspect ratio is definitely best suited to web browsing and app play rather than blasting through games or watching movies. If you want to do that, or simply fit the Mate X into your pocket or purse, you'll definitely want to fold it back up again. The Mate X is powered by Huawei's latest Kirin 980 chipset, complete with the Belong 5000 modem to make it fully 5G compliant. You shouldn't have any trouble multitasking with all your apps and gaming on the go as well. 
And yes, you do get Huawei's flexible tri-lens camera tech as well, similar to setup on the Mate 20 Pro, complete with ultra-wide angle and telephoto views. But before we disclose the Huawei Mate X's asking price, you might want to sit down a bit and brace yourself. The Mate X will cost a whopping €2,300 when it's released mid-2019. Ouchies. Better get Granny on the operating table and whip out her kidneys pronto if you want to afford one of these f***s. OnePlus 5G Although OnePlus hasn't officially launched a consumer-ready 5G handset per se, it has confirmed that it'll be one of the first in the UK and Europe to release a 5G-ready mobile here in the UK through the EE network. And at MWC 2019, OnePlus showed off its prototype device, a fully working handset that was streaming a PC game from the cloud using just a lovely bit of 5G. This worked perfectly with no stutter or lag, showing what a huge step up 5G will be over the humble 4G networks that we have right now. And of course, you're going to expect the likes of Apple to reveal their own 5G ready blowers later in 2019 too. So that right there is our rundown of all the sexy 5G smartphones that have launched so far in 2019. Have yourselves a lovely day and don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you!